Hi, my name is Mike Smith and I'm the module leader of Level 1 and Level 2 Sports and Exercise Psychology. I also teach on the Level 3 as well. And last year we piloted the gamification mechanics through a, through a vehicle called StarQuest and we found uh, quite a lot of positive feedback from the students. Uh, there are a number of reasons why I chose to implement gamification. One is a personal interest that I, I actually have an interest in games-based learning. I think it's um, a motivational tool to get students to engage with the learning material in a different way than just delivering lectures. Also, from an employability point of view, uh, there's a lot of now push for digital literacy. Uh, employers are looking for, for, for um, graduates to come out of uh, higher education with uh, digital skills. The reason we're doing it, implementing it at level one is because we piloted at level two last year and the student feedback was excellent. Uh, they really enjoyed it. But there were some groups who, because they were level one with a similar form of learning, had already set up their own WhatsApp or Facebook groups. And a lot of the problem-based learning literature suggests that to implement problem-based learning, it should be at level one so that students get used to the, the type of learning um, and what's required from them. So that's one of the reasons why we're now putting it in at, at level one. Um, the stakeholders with regards to who's involved are obviously the students, and that's why primarily we're doing it. Um, but one of the issues is that we we're not fully aware ourselves as members of staff about uh, game-based learning, gamification, uh, because it is a new form of learning. So the ideal scenario would be to involve the students in the decision making, whether they wanted this type of learning or not. Um, but because we, we are needing to get up to speed with that type of learning, we've decided to take a more autocratic approach and then get feedback at the end of level one, and then possibly uh, act on that feedback next year. Um, some of the roadblocks that we, uh, we generally experience in higher education is time. So in an ideal world you need to plan something like this over a period of time, involve the students, involve the other members of staff because on this module there will be six members of staff teaching at the same time between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock every Monday and to involve that amount of staff in developing the module is really time consuming. The more you involve them, because we teach sports science and the module is sports psychology, and one of the foundations of sports psychology is goal setting, and the best way to implement goal setting is to include the athlete in the goal setting process. So basically including the students in the process increases the, the motivational aspect uh, from an intrinsic point of view. And then if we look at the pedagogical literature, intrinsic motivation, um, according to Biggs, who was a big author in the area, leads to deeper learning. So it's a win-win situation and a, a cyclical process, if you like.